Now let's look at some tangent ratios for some particular angles and we'll start off looking at what we call a 45-45-90 triangle. This is a right triangle, that's what we mean by the 90, there's a right angle, and it also has two 45 degree angles, and that's this one and this one. Now only this one is marked, but you should see that because all, the, all three angles have to add up to 180, if this one is 90, then the other two have to add up to 90. So if this one's 45, that one is 45. So this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And you can see that from the given information. That's 90 and that's 45. So that angle has to be 45 also. Now what do we know about a 45, 45, 90 triangle? We know that it is isosceles. Okay, this is an isosceles triangle and that means that both legs are equal. Let's just take note of that. Remember the legs are the two sides that aren't the hypotenuse. So both legs are equal. An isosceles triangle, remember, by definition is one that has two sides the same. So you could mark this side in the same way as you mark that side. Put a little mark, identical marks on each side indicate that they're the same. Now, from simply looking at a 45, 45, 90 triangle, it's easy to see the tangent ratio. If this is the same as that, then the tangent of that angle is going to be 1 because the opposite and the adjacent will be the same. Whatever number it is, this number over that number, and if this and that are the same, then this over that will be 1. A couple of quick examples. Here's a 45, 45, 90 triangle where the sides are the legs of length 2. And you could calculate the length of the hypotenuse, but we don't need to. If we're just going to find the tangent of 45 degrees, well, it would be 2 over 2 it would be 1. And these 2's don't really matter. What matters is the 45 degree angle. If the angle's 45 degrees, regardless of the size of the triangle, the opposite and the adjacent will be the same. So over here, the tangent of 45 degrees is 3.4 over 3.4. And of course, it comes out to be 1. So for any triangle with a 45 degree angle, the opposite over the adjacent will be 1. So we'll just say tangent of 45 degrees equals 1 every single time because we're thinking about that ratio, the size of the triangle doesn't matter. Remember that it's the ratio that we're concerned with. So learn that fact. The tangent of 45 degrees equals one, equals one. But don't simply memorize it. Make sure you understand why it is the case. That must be the case because of the definition of the tangent function. It's the opposite over the adjacent. And for a 45 degree angle, the opposite and the adjacent will always be the same so the tangent of 45 degrees has to be 1 every single time. Now take a look at this triangle. This is what we call a 30, 60, 90 triangle for obvious reasons. There's a 30 degree angle, a 60 degree angle, and a 90 degree angle. So this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Now remember, there are two things we know that are always true for 30, 60, 90 triangles. And we'll write these down. The first thing to note is that the hypotenuse is always two times as long as the short leg. So regardless of the size of the triangle, if it has a 30 degree and a 60 degree and a 90 degree angle, then the hypotenuse will always be twice the short leg. So write that down in your notes. Write the hypotenuse is twice, and by that we mean twice as long is twice the short leg. Okay, and that's not too hard to remember. Just to multiply by 2, multiply that by 2, and you have the hypotenuse. Okay, now the second thing that is true for every 30, 60, 90 triangle is this. The long leg is equal to the short leg times the square root of 3. And you can show these facts with the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, and we did that in geometry. Uh, so we're just re refreshing some of the things we learned before. But write this down. This is important to note for this lesson too. The long leg is the square root of 3 times the short leg. The long leg is the square root of 3 times the short leg. And that's true for every single 30, 60, 90 triangle. So now with those ideas in mind, Let's answer the following questions. 
what is the tangent of 30 degrees? Well, the tangent of 30 degrees, this angle right here, is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. So let's put some numbers on this triangle. And to make it easy, we could put any numbers we want, but let's put a 1 here. If that's 1, then the hypotenuse is twice as long as that, so the hypotenuse will be 2, and the long leg will be the square root of 3 times the short leg, so that will be the square root of 3 times 1. So that length down there is the square root of 3. So the tangent of 30 degrees is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. So that's going to be 1 over the square root of 3. Now, we have a radical in the denominator, and that doesn't really bother me, but it bothers some people. So let's go through the, the technique of rationalizing the denominator, making this a rational number instead of an irrational number. We just multiply by the square root of 3 over the square root of 3, and that gives us a 3, so we have a square root of 3 over 3. So the tangent of 30 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 3. And you could divide that, you could get a decimal approximation for that, but this is the exact answer. That is the tangent of 30 degrees every single time. And then we're also asked, what is the tangent of 60 degrees? Well, look at the 60 degree angle here. That's the 60 degree angle. So if we go across from there, this is the opposite side for the 60 degree angle. And the adjacent side for my 60 degree angle, the adjacent side is that. So for the 60 degree angle, the tangent will still be opposite over adjacent, but it's the side that's opposite the 60 and adjacent to the 60 degree angle. So that's going to be the square root of 3 over 1. So the next question, what is the tangent of 60 degrees? The tangent of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 1. And of course, we just write that as the square root of 3, and there's no simplification needed. OK, you can memorize these facts, that the tangent of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3, and the tangent of 60 degrees is the square root of 3. But I think it's better to be able to figure them out from the definition of a tangent function. If you ever need to know these numbers, you should be able to just do that over that or that over that very quickly and get those, get those answers. And you should also understand why those must be true. Those, those values must be correct. The tangent of 30 is this and the tangent of 60 is that based on the definition of the tangent function. Tangent is opposite over adjacent.